So this is the uh, very well priced uh, coating thickness gauge and I'm going to show you how these are used. So generally speaking you use these to check the thickness of paint to see if the car has been repainted, if there's bondo, all kinds of things. What you want to do is when you're polishing a car you kind of want to know how much clear coat you have to work with. So the general rule of thumb is to take a reading on the door area where it would be the thinnest because um, door area doesn't get sunlight doesn't get you know abrasions so they don't really put it on too thick here so you see in this area it's giving me a reading of and it's fluctuating like that because it's not flat it's hard to get it flat in that area see right here it's thicker but it's not quite as thick. I've done a few readings already on the rest of the car. It's not quite as thick as the rest of the car, but you want to get a good flat area. Right here's a good area. So there you go. 2.95 to almost 3 mils. Um, you see when it fluctuates like that, that's me kind of moving it on an angle. Yeah, it has to be perfectly flat. And you see like in certain areas it's a little bit thicker. Come up here. What you do is you take a couple of readings and you just get an average on that. So you see right there it was around 3 mils. Now if you come to like uh, an outside surface and you check it, you'll see 4.2. It's closer to 4 and 5 mils. Like I'll check, show you the hood. And this actually, well, I got a lot of debris on the hood, so let me find this. Man, they're burning the sugarcane fields, and I got, look at that, sugarcane ash everywhere. And I just cleaned this yesterday. Um, okay, so 4.4. It's closer to 5 mil in some spots on the hood. 4.6. And then it's thinner there. That surprised me, because I've compounded and polished that hood twice in the recent weeks, but before that, I don't think it's ever been compounded and polished. Let's check the rims. Uh, there's a little bit of paint right here. See how thick that is. I expect that to be thicker because you expect the rims to get scratched easier. Yep, exactly, 5.3. Uh, check down here. Damn, six. So yeah, so this area on here is painted and because it's in the wheel area, an area where it gets rock chips and stuff more often, they put it on thicker. Um, but yeah, so this is very good. Um, show you another thing I 